and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while. I know guys don't don't come for me. I know it's been a while and I'm horrible at this, but I'm excited to be back for real this time. I moved. I'm in a new house. I moved in with my boyfriend Zach and I have my own little room here now to have all my makeup and do videos, TikToks, a little bit of everything. So yeah, I am super excited. I'm sorry, but I'm back and I'm going to be doing a lot of makeup looks. I know I say this every time, but comment down below what you wanna see because I'm running out of ideas and I kind of just do the same thing every time I do anything. So let me know what you guys wanna see. If you want basics, if you want colorful, I don't know, just let me know because I'm excited and I want to continue to do this. So yeah, so let's just hop right into it. We are going to be doing a spring look today. I live in Arizona and it's already basic. It's been spring for like three weeks. So um, yeah, I'm going to be doing makeup for that and it's gonna be light, girly, pinks, whatever you imagine when you think of spring, that's what it's gonna be. I asked some of my friends and they all said, they gave me suggestions, so yeah. We're just gonna hop into it. I already have um, hyaluronic acid and moisturizer on my face. And so I am just gonna start with the Milk Makeup um, Hydro Grip Primer. Yes. Also, don't mind my breakouts. It's been bad lately. I don't know what it is from. I've been washing my face every night, doing my nighttime routine. I just don't know. It's just every day I wake up and there's something else and I ugh, I don't know what the heck it is. But, you know, we're gonna live with it. We're gonna cover it up. That's what makeup's for. It's gonna be a whole transformation of this. Like, what the heck? It's like a mountain on my face, whatever. Whatever, okay? Then, same as always, my um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow in Natural Beige 205. And I'm just gonna put that, it's almost running out. It's fine, I have another one. A beauty blender, we're just gonna put that everywhere. Sorry, if you hear any noise in the back, it's my dog. He's in here with me. He's getting so big, but I love him so much. Then we're going to do my Morphe concealer, which story time. So I'm almost out of this. It's literally on its last last leg. And so I went to Ulta to go buy a new one and I freaking bought two. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna buy two. One a little bit lighter than I normally get just cause I am a little bit paler than I normally am. And one my normal one. I leave the store. And if you don't know, the Morphe concealers are like C1.15, C1.25, whatever. I'm C2.15. I got C1, which is like the lightest concealer that you could ever get. I'm obviously pale, but not that pale, guys. So now I have two like concealers that are literally white <laughs> and I don't even have the one I need and I'm running out. So yeah, that's my story time. I'm dramatic, I know, but like, when a girl needs her concealer, she needs her concealer. Like, come on. Now, contouring. Um, so I'm using the Morphe Contour Stick in Effect 13. And I've kind of been doing it differently than I used to. Like my cheekbone goes like right here and I'm just gonna go right above it. Cause it kind of like lifts your face and doesn't like bring it down at like lifts it up, you know, a little more than I, it did when I used to. And then just all the normal places that I put it on my nose, and right under my lip. Okay, who am I? And then I use this blending brush from Jaclyn Hill mm, JH03, and I kind of go on its side so I'm not what am I saying? I go on its side so that I'm not like blending it down. I want to be blending it up because that will defeat the whole purpose of us putting it above our cheekbone if you blend it down. So you kind of only want to blend up. You have to be a little careful. It's, but you'll see, I'll show you. 
I think there's someone breaking into my house. Literally me. I'm like paranoid that someone's breaking in, but I'm not gonna stop doing the makeup because, you know. Also guys, I watched the Billie Eilish documentary. I'm, I was already obsessed, but I'm just 10 times more obsessed with that girl, man. She's literally like what, 18 still? Maybe 19 now, I don't know. And she's, oh, she's just amazing. Like I want to be her. And she's just beautiful. I just can't. I can't. And here's me, 23 years old, and doesn't know what they're doing with their life. It's fine. Everything, everyone has their own path, okay? Okay. We're done with that. Okay, I know it doesn't look blended in the camera, but in life, in real life, it is. Okay. Then I'm going to be using this little baby milk makeup um, blush, cream, lip thing, whatever, and work. Okay. I need to like relax. Also, again, I'm putting this a little bit higher up than I would normally just because I'm trying to lift my face and I'm going to be using a lot of this. It is a spring tutorial and what screams spring more than pink blush, glowy cheeks, and who knows? So yeah, I'm using a lot, okay? Don't judge me. And a little tad bit on the nose for like that sunburnt, sun-kissed look. I know, I know, whatever. And then since I want the pigment to stay there, I'm going to be using a brush instead of my beauty blender and kind of just blending that out because I feel like when I use my beauty blender with the cream blush, especially this one, it just kind of disappears. With the brush, it's all still there. I'm a little in a hyper mood, okay? I'm sorry. Then I'm going in to set my under eyes and my entire face with Infallible Pro Matte Powder. Um, with this big, fat, fluffy brush. I'm just very lightly setting it though because I still want a little bit of shine because it's spring, I wanna be glowy. Wait, okay, why am I, why? People literally probably hate me, I'm so annoying. Make sure to get down the neck. Okay, and then just for a little bit of extra coverage under the eyes, I'm doing this little brush and tapping that in, but also tapping it off and just patting it underneath my eyes. Also, like how do people film to check it ready with me because I talk so much to myself and now when I have a camera, I'm like, oh, friends, mm, let me just tell them my whole life story. Okay, whatever. Okay, now we're going in with the Hula Bronzer. I got this big boy. I already know you guys have seen it before, but I just love it and I'm already like making a dent. And then this, this brush, yeah. You know, not very good at the brushes. And then just kind of going over exactly where I did the contour. Um, this is just gonna warm up my face a little bit more for that look, okay? Why does it look like I... You're like, Jesus Christ. Then, nose contour because this bad boy is big and I need to make it skinny. Okay, this brush that I always use, same hula bronzer. I'm gonna have to get a little bit up close and personal for this, okay? And I, I don't know if I've told you this before, but I flare, <laughs> I flare my nostrils to see so that the line, that's what I, I basically, without the nostrils, that's what I want it to look like, okay? I'm psycho, I think. Okay, I know it looks crazy. Trust the process. And then underneath, blend. And then the key, go right here. Like if you were to push up your nose where that little indent is, 
you just do a little line and then it kind of creates a little button nose mm, okay then i'm going to take just any kind of like blending brush and just slightly blend that out don't want to take it away but blend it out so it's not as crazy you know because it was looking a little wild okay we're done with that we are done with that okay then we are going to be taking cover fx translucent powder i wish i really do wish i had my um laura mercier but we don't and I'm not spending $40 right now to get a new one. So we're dealing with what we got. Okay, that's a lot, but it's fine. Then back to the beauty blender. And I'm going to take the straight side. I look like, okay, whatever. The straight side. And I'm just going to carve out. Leo, no. Carve out that dude that pimple has got to go it's just ruining my life and i have matching one on this side this one's been here for a while so it's like kind of on its way out i think at least and then nose i'm back on my anastasia brow game okay people um so i'm going in with the anastasia brow definer it's a little triangle one um in soft brown also, we don't even talk about my eyebrows right now. I know, okay? I know. It's fine. I'm used to it, though. Okay. Honestly, that's as good as they're gonna get. Okay, and then Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I'm just gonna kind of push them up just a little bit. But for some reason, my hairs don't stay up, okay? So I kind of want to try that Anastasia Brow Freeze, but like I'm not huge into like the real fluffy ones. I just want them to stick a little bit just to make them look fuller than they actually are. But you know, you can't have the best of both worlds, okay? Now for the eyes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Some water break. Okay. We are using Jaclyn Hill, um, her second palette with Morphe, just because they have some beautiful pinks, shimmers. We'll probably dip into another one as well, just because now that I'm looking at this. Oh, perfect, okay. So we're gonna start off with Positivity. It's this like, okay, it doesn't look pink, and it's like a corally blush right there. Tap off the excess, and we're going right in right above the crease just lightly um blending that in you know <clears throat> so sorry about that fam and again sweeping out and like into my eyebrow kind of to create that cat eye Okay, we're coming in with the second palette, Jeffree Star X Morphe. Um, this bad boy, I think it's Artistry palette. Yeah. Um, and then we are gonna start off blending out that, um, whatever it is, with this one, it's called Mine. Oh my God, hi. Okay, who am I? And then just blending out the edges softly so it's kind of, not harsh, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's from BRB. Sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, Who am I? I hate that, okay? It was just the mailman. I get paranoid when I'm alone, okay? So like I was saying, I'm going to be mixing two colors from this palette. I'm going to do the pink right here. It's called Self Made. And then also the pink from this palette, Tipsy Girl. This one's just a little bit deeper of a pink, but I'm just going to mix them together because I don't want it to be too crazy. And I'm just going to do the outer corner. Nothing crazy, just kind of blending that up. 
into that other color that we had. Just to kind of give us that pink spring vibe. Okay, I literally need to calm myself down. I don't know what's going on with me. Then I'm gonna go in with this little blending brush. Yeah, thick skin. Right over here, the last one in the top row, just a little bit of tad. And I'm just gonna deepen up that inner corner, I mean, inner corner, outer corner, so it's not just like dull, you know? Okay, we can't get too crazy though, because this is supposed to be a light, girly, playful look, not dramatic like I normally do. So I just gotta calm it down or else it's gonna get out of hand. You know me, you know me. Okay, so then, we're done with this palette. We're gonna go in, I'm thinking I'm gonna mix Bougie and Ride of, Rider Diamonds, Rider Diamonds and, and Get Ready With Me. Just all a little bit on my finger cause they're all like a little bit of everything that I want, okay? I'm gonna use my finger by the way because I'm too lazy to get a brush. It's just too much work, you know? Okay, cute. Okay, I lied. I know I said I was done with this palette, but we're going back in with this white right here, just a little bit, just tapping my finger in it and just pressing that on there just to add a little bit more um, white reflex. I don't know if that's the right wording, but you know. Okay, pretty. I'm proud of myself to my ride or die Jaclyn Hill volume one, as you can see. This palette's gone through it. Like, hello. Okay. Then I'm going to be taking um, just any like liner angled brush. I normally use this for black, so I need to like wipe it off really quick. I've had this thing. Well, I had a different one, but I just got a new one just because they're so useful. You just kind of wipe your brush on it. It's supposed to get rid of the color. Sometimes it doesn't always, but it's better than if you had put just like black right on there, you know? Basically, you get it a little bit wet and then you just want that angled brush. And I'm going to just do this brown. And then I'm just gonna kind of flick out a wing. Can you even see that? Kinda, I don't know. And then bring it in. It can be messy, we're blending it out, okay? And I'm only going in halfway. Just to like, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. Okay, now that that's over with, we're gonna take this pencil brush, whatever it's called, and just lightly blend it out so it's not like a harsh wing but only on the top. You still want it to kind of look like a wing, but like also blended. Okay, we're taking off this bake now. Just like, look at me. Okay, I need to like relax. Okay, then I'm going back in with this brush, the same one that I do, that I did the whatever, and I'm doing these two colors in the first Jaclyn Hill palette and just blending out my lower lash line. You're also going to be doing a white waterline. So I'm just using this next one. I think you guys have seen me use it before. And I lightly pull down my eye and just get it in there. See, it just opens up my eyes so much. It's kind of uncomfy to put it on. But once it's on, okay, the blush. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be doing this Becca one that I always do, and then I got this new little trio Morphe one, and I'm going to be using the middle one because that just screams spring to me, okay? And I'm gonna mix those two together with just my blush brush. Just go in, you know? I look like a fairy. No, I don't, okay. Beautiful. Mm. And then I'm going to spray my face with my Morphe Mini setting spray. Then highlighter, this Jaclyn Hill 
Champagne pop, it's been through the ringer, I know. It's fine though. And then just dusting that basically over where I put the blush because I don't want it to go like into my eyeshadow, but I do want that glow. Then I'm doing this little pencil brush and bridge my nose, just the very top of the bridge today. And then right on the tip of it, just a little bit, you know? And then I'm blending that out with my finger. Okay, then I'm going to curl my lashes, mascara, and put some falsies on, and then I will be back. Okay, we're back, and I have my lashes on. Um, they are the Lily Lashes um, Diamonds, I want to say. They are actually my all-time favorite lash of, I mean, I haven't really tried many, but all-time favorite. They're just like so easy to apply, but also like wispy, but not too much. Like they're perfect for the spring, summer. Um, they're not too dramatic, but they still are a lash. Um, like these are the lashes that I promise you I'll be wearing on my freaking wedding day, people. Um, but yeah, so those are on. So let's just finish it off with the lips. Um, so I'm gonna start off with the NYX um, lip liner in natural that I always wear. Okay, and I'm going to just overline just a tad like I always do. Okay, and I like to just like fill in the outer corners. Um, I used to be that girl that like filled in her entire lip with lip liner, which that's what lipstick, it's just gonna get covered. So I decided to not do that anymore, but I like it on the outside just cause I'm going for the like ombre look. So we'll start off with MAC um, Velvet Teddy. As you can see, I need a new one. Um, and I'm just gonna go on that corners, just leaving the middle open, just like that. I know it looks crazy, but Girl, trust me, it'll get there. Then um, MAC Honey Love, and I'm just doing the rest of it. I'm just kinda blend it in, make sure it's not like just like a straight line, you know what I'm saying? And then to finish it off, lip gloss. Glossy lips in the spring, come on guys, you know, Madison Beer Morphe, um, it's in Saturn. This, I love this gloss, guys. It's so glossy, but has the perfect color, but isn't sticky glossy, because you know those glosses that are too sticky that you just can't, you can't do it. And guys, I think that is the finished look. I'm so proud of it. Um, here's a little up close and personal, guys. I know, I'm, let me just move some of this stuff. But, um, here's the eyes. I know, kind of hard to see, but, yeah. Okay, but, yes. Yeah. So, like I said in the beginning, if you have anything that you want to see, ideas, whatever you want me to do, please leave it in the comments below. Text me, DM me, whatever you want. Um, I w am always looking for suggestions because I do the same thing. Like this, never done it before, but I love it and I'll probably do it again. So please, if you want me to do anything, feel free to comment because I would love it. But also, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. Comment, like, subscribe if you want. Um, I'm going to be doing these way more often now. Um, yeah, I'm awkward. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>